that's one of those things that was like a God moment for me. <laughs> Looking back on it, I always think like, wow, this is, I, like, cry. <laughs> I mean, that's just something where I knew it was like meant to be. I mean, I knew long before then too, but um, it was just pretty amazing, so. So it was like all with God's like perfect timing, like it all happened. Oops. <laughs> I've never seen her lovey-dovey before, guys. Never seen it until Charles came, and all of a sudden, he just lit up her world. So it was a really, really cool thing to see you come into her life and see her go from kind of just doing life to, oh my gosh, this is an adventure couple, and they're going to go great places, and I'm not going to cry. Okay, okay. They really act as a complete couple. I mean, in communication, the way they see each other, especially is the way they laugh with each other. It says, I'd hold in my farts for you. <laughs> They stuck together. They lived in different places a couple of different times. When we met, he was in Houston and I was in Farmington. And so it was like once a month, we'd always see each other. I finally moved to Houston and then he went back to Midland. So we ended up doing the long distance thing for quite a while. Rachel at one point even asked me, she's like, well, I'm, am I gonna have to move to Midland or what's the deal here? And I was like, no way, man. I don't wanna freaking live in Midland. <laughs> I got contacted by a recruiter randomly on LinkedIn about a job in San Antonio, Texas. And then literally the same day that I got contacted by that recruiter, Rachel's boss was like, what do you think about moving to San Antonio? Some people don't believe me because they're like, oh no, you definitely like asked to go to San Antonio. And I was like, no, no. I didn't ask to go to San Antonio. I brag on you so much. Anytime anybody asks me about my family, I'm like, let me tell you about the life my big sister's living. I tell everybody about where you travel. But like, it's literally, it's, it's a dream. It's a dream life. When she was born, she was born four weeks early. A really tiny thing. But you could tell she was ready to go. People to see, places to go, things to do. You know, and she's been going ever since. Hi, Charles. Take you, Rachel. Take you, Rachel. To be my wife. To be my wife. Hi, Rachel. Take you, Charles. Take you, Charles. To be my husband. You want me to read this for you? <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. We're definitely there. <laughs> to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. She's been my, my sweet darling all this time, and Charles has kind of taken over the reins as her travel buddy, and I couldn't be happier. You can tell by the theme of the evening, travel is her inspiration. Everywhere there's a place on a table, somewhere they've been. New Zealand and Bora Bora coming up. Peru, Argentina, Chile. Chile, Argentina, Peru. Mexico, South Africa. South Africa, Qatar. Oh, I mean, I got engaged in freaking Indonesia. Indonesia, Cambodia, China. Of all the adventures y'all been on, traveling, doing everything, continue that. This, this is y'all's next big adventure.
Rachel forever travels. Keep taking your adventures together, grow together. Continue laughing and everything will come to you. So